I'm sure you've heard this question before. Is the glass half empty or half full? In America, we're strongly encouraged to say that the glass is always half full. We have lots of expressions and sayings that remind us to be optimistic and happy. Think positive, we say. Look on the bright side. And from an early age, we're taught that the proper response to how are you is fine thanks and you but the truth is in another saying, not everything is as it seems. The truth is that we can't always be certain that we understand what we see and what we hear. People around us may seem happy, but in truth, everybody has good days and bad days. Everybody has their problems. In this lesson, we're going to talk about a common but very useful verb, seem. We're going to talk about what it means, and we'll look at the different uses. Pre-lesson quiz. Let's check your understanding of the verb seem. Question 1. Listen to the following exchange. Do you know Ken? I don't know him well. I've only talked to him a couple of times over the phone. He seems to know a lot about the industry. What can we conclude? A. Jennifer is certain that Ken knows the industry well. Or B. Jennifer has the impression that Ken knows the industry well. Answer. B. Question 2. Listen to the following exchange. Are you going to follow Ken's advice? Probably. It seems a good idea. The following sentence is incorrect. Can you correct it? We can say, it seems to be a good idea. We can also say, it seems like a good idea. Question 3. Which statement is more appropriate for informal conversation? A. It seems like everything is fine now. Or B. It seems that everything is fine now. Answer. A. Question 4. Which statement suggests more certainty or greater likelihood? A. It seems as if the problem solved itself. Or B. It seems that the problem solved itself. Answer B. How did you do on the quiz? Does the topic seem challenging? Don't worry, we're going to take the time to talk more about this verb. Let's begin our lesson. We can use seem with an adjective. Seem is a linking verb. We can use it to link a subject to a description. Example, I've only spoken with Ken over the phone, but he seems nice. In this example, we're linking he with the description nice. Seem can also be followed by the infinitive. Example, Ken seems to know a lot about the industry. So what does seem mean? We can define it as to appear to have a quality or be in some condition. To appear to be true. Let's look again at our examples. Ken seems nice. This means that he appears to be nice. We can't be certain, but it appears to be true that he's a nice person. This is the impression that we have. 2. Ken seems to know a lot. Again, this is our impression. It appears to be true that Ken knows a lot. Exercise 1. Read the statement. Choose the correct conclusion. Example. Situation. I called Ken yesterday. He seemed very busy, so I kept the conversation short. What can we conclude? 
A. Ken didn't want to talk yesterday. Or B. It's possible that Ken was very busy yesterday. Answer. B. Situation 1. The manager read the resume. The candidate seemed to be a good fit for the job. What can we conclude? A. The manager knew for certain that the candidate was a good choice for the job. Or B. The manager thought that the candidate was possibly a good choice for the job. Answer. B. Situation 2. The boss seems unaware that Ellen has too much work for one person. What can we conclude? A. The boss doesn't care that Ellen is overworked. Or B. The boss may not realize that Ellen can't handle the workload by herself. Answer. B. Okay, you seem to understand everything so far, so why don't you go on to the second part of this lesson.